If someone had droopy eyes late in the day and they called you up to see you, what would you be thinking about initially if someone had a little droopiness to the eyes and was getting progressive late in the day? I would think first think about a diagnosis called myasthenia gravis. Could there be other, the, besides that, is there anything else you'd be thinking too? In the, the, sure. There can be um, other m diseases of the muscle itself, which can cause uh, droopiness of the eyes. And also, one of the more common uh, causes of droopy eyes is just aging. So, you have so, to it's, so it's, a, it's part of a natural process. It's not normal, but it frequently occurs in, in uh, people older and causing just droopy eyes because of aging. You mentioned my thing, but, but you mentioned that if it's only one side of the face, acute onset with tearing, you might think it's something else. Is that true? Correct. Bell's palsy, sometimes you see. Yeah, that's interesting that you said that, but because Bell's palsy actually a weakness in the facial muscles, and so what you would see in Bell's palsy is actually the eye that's the problem will get the will get actually open more. So it won't be a drooping of the eye, it'll be open more. That's because one of the muscles of, of the face closes the eye. And so you, if you lose that closure, then that eye will be more open. And that's so, a facial palsy, or if you don't have a cause of the facial palsy, then that's called Bell's palsy. So in other words, the history would help a little bit, but now you have to examine the patient. So the first Correct. thing, we're not saying what the disease is, they come to you, you notice that their both eyes seem to be droopy, and they say, in the morning I wake up, it's not so bad, but late in the day, this would be most likely what? Myasthenia gravis.